Okay, Assalamualaikum class. Good morning. Waalaikumsalam. Waalaikumsalam. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, how are you today? Have you had your breakfast? Yes, good teacher. Good teacher. Okay, if you haven't had your breakfast, feel free to grab a cup of coffee or tea to keep you afresh during our class. Okay, so let's recite our Al-Fatiha first class. Okay. So before uh, we proceed for today's lesson, I want to ask you a question. Um, have you ever been to a beach before? Either with your family or yes. friends? Have you yes. ever been? Yes. yes, you are. Okay, do you notice when you are walking to the into the sea, sea water, you walk on the beach sand, right? Okay, let's say you watch uh, without shoes, you walk without shoes, without wearing shoes. What do you feel when you walk on the sand? My feet feel wet. Your feet feel wet? Yeah. You are walking on the sand, not on the water. Why do you feel hot. wet? Yes, it feels hot. Hot. Okay. But, but then when you go into the seawater, what do you feel? Is it hot or is it much colder? Cold, teacher. Yes, okay. So have you ever wondered about that? It is the same source of uh, heat coming from the sun, but both the sand and the sea water is different in temperature. Have you ever wondered about that? Okay, so that is what we are going to learn for today, okay? Specific heat capacity. So let me show you the learning outcome first. Okay, can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me clearly? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Um, please tell me, okay, if I'm going too fast and you can catch up. Okay, so learning outcome. Um, the first one is uh, after uh, the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the heat capacity. And then the second one, you should be able to define the specific heat capacity of material. Okay, and then the third one you should be able to solve the problem involving specific heat capacity using the formula. Okay, so before we proceed, I would like to remind you guys, you should have your calculator with you because this subtopic involves um, a few calculations. So you should have your calculator with you, okay? Okay, next slide. Heat capacity. Can someone read this out for me? Anyone? Anis, can you read this out for me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, heat capacity of an object is the quantity of heat needed to raise the temperature of the object by 1 degree Celsius. Good. Thank you, Anis. Okay, so the heat capacity. It is given the formula of heat capacity, capital letter C is equal to Q over delta theta where Q is the quantity of heat supplied and delta theta is the change of temperature. So how do you find this change of temperature? You minus the final temperature with the initial temperature. Okay, so um, let me give you an example, okay? Um, let's say you have a tap water that you want to increase the temperature by 1 degree Celsius. Um, the initial temperature might be 14 and you want to increase it by... Uh, 1 degree Celsius to 15 degree Celsius. So, the amount of heat needed to raise that 1 degree Celsius is what we call the heat capacity. Okay. So, let's try this out, guys. Um, let me read this out for you. 100 joule of heat is supplied to objects X and Y. Object X rise 1 degree Celsius in temperature while object Y rise 2 degrees Celsius. What are the respective heat capacity for objects X and Y? This question is very direct. It uh, already give us the, the change in temperature and then the amount of heat transferred and then we just need to calculate the heat capacity using this formula. Okay, can someone tell me the heat capacity for object X? Hafizuddin, can you tell me please? Wait a moment, teacher. Alright, take your time. Uh, 100. 100 joule. 
per degree Good. Celsius. Yes, it is correct. Good job. And then for object Y, how do we get this? It is um the heat the heat supply 100 joule, and then divided by the change in temperature. Divide by two, so we got 50. Okay, so between these two, it is obvious that object X have the higher heat capacity compared to object Y. So, which object do you think will rise in temperature slowly? So, Atika, can you tell me? Object Y. Good try, Zul Atika, but the answer is object X. Object X will rise in temperature slowly because it needs a lot of heat to raise the temperature by 1 degree Celsius. While object Y only need 50 joule per degree Celsius to raise the temperature. Do you understand class or am I going too fast? Understood, yes, yes, understand. understand. Okay, good. If you have any question, just stop me in the middle of my learn, uh, teaching and just ask, okay? Okay, now moving on to the next title, Specific Heat Capacity. Specific heat capacity, the small letter C of a substance is the quantity of heat needed to raise the temperature of 1 kilogram mass of the substance by 1 degree Celsius. So, this is the formula. C equals to Q over M delta theta where Q is the same thing as before. Quantity of heat supplied, M is the mass of an object. Delta theta, change in temperature, and these are the unit for C. You can whether use degree Celsius or either Kelvin. Okay? The difference between this one and the previous one is that, can someone tell me what's the difference? Why not? For, heat capacity, for specific heat capacity, uh, we need to calculate the mass. Yes, that's right. Good one, huh? It include the, the mass of uh, the object in the formula. Okay. So, this is the table of specific heat capacity. As you can see in your textbook page. Page 128. Okay. This is the table of the specific heat capacity of substance. Uh, but don't worry, you don't need to memorize this one because if it is um, asked in test question, it will give you uh, the value of the specific heat capacity, okay? Let me give you an example. Um, let's say water and cooking oil here. When you are at your kitchen, you uh, are trying to heat one kilogram and, uh, of water and one kilogram of cooking oil. So, which one do you think will heat faster? Anis, can you tell me? Uh, yes, teacher. I think water will heat faster. Uh -uh, good try, but no. Water will, will not get hot faster because... Can anyone tell me why? The specific heat... Uh, it's too high. Yes, thank you, Najwana. You are correct. Okay, between water and cooking oil, water has high specific heat capacity compared to cooking oil. So it will take uh, a much more energy to rise the temperature by one degree Celsius. Okay, it will take four thousand and two hundred joule per kilogram per degree Celsius compared to cooking oil which only need 1850. Okay, so we continue to solving problem involving specific heat capacity. Okay, a uh, 0.5 kilogram metal is heated by a 50 watt electric heater for 90 seconds. The temperature of the block rises from 20 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. And the question asks us to calculate the specific heat capacity of the metal. So, uh, can someone tell me what is the formula of heat capacity? Specific heat capacity? Yes? P equals to Q over M uh, delta theta. 
Okay, good job Hafizuddin. That is the formula. But do you notice here? We don't have the, the Q here. Okay, we only have here the mass of the metal, mass of the block, 0 0.5 kilogram. And then we have the 50 watt of power, the heater power. And then the heating time, 90 seconds. And then the temperature change. We only have this uh, this information. We don't have the amount of heat uh, supplied to the block. Okay. So how do we find the amount of heat supplied? We gonna use the formula of heat supplied equals to power times time. Okay. This one you need to recall from other uh, top, topic. I, I don't remember which topic. Okay, so then you put the formula here. C equals to Q over M delta theta. And then this Q you replace with P and T. And then calculate. 50 times with 90 and then 0 0.5 times with 25. And then you divide these two. And then you will get this. Answer. Okay, do you understand this one class? Or do I need to repeat? Yes, understood teacher. Understood okay, teacher. thank you Adi. Thank you, Zul Atika. Okay, moving on to the application of specific heat capacity. You need to know that every physics concept will have their application to our daily life. Same goes with this specific heat capacity. Okay, the first one, um, the car radiator system. The water in with high speed capacity is used as the cooling agent. Why do you think we don't use oil for this one as the cooling agent? Can someone tell me? Why don't we use oil as cooling agent? Why do we use water? Because oil really become hot faster. Yes, that's correct, Hafiz Zudin. Thank you so much. Um, as, as oil will get hot faster, so what is the uh, its function as the cooling agent, right? Ha. So we use water because it takes a lot of heat to increase the temperature of water by 1 degree Celsius, okay? And then, as you can see in your kitchen, our cooking utensils, the part body is made from aluminium. Aluminium have lower specific heat capacity. However, the pot handle is made of plastic. Plastic have high heat capacity. Okay, so why do you think the pot body have low specific heat capacity? The pot body is made from aluminium because it is has uh, it has lower heat capacity, lower specific heat capacity. When it has lower specific heat capacity, it will rise in temperature faster and your food will cook faster. Okay, and then for the pot handle, it is made from the high heat, spe uh, high specific heat capacity material so that it will rise in temperature very slowly. So by the time you, you your food is cooked, you want to hold the pot, your hand will not get burned, okay? Um, you can see many more application from your textbook or you can browse it on your own, okay, class? Okay, now, it's time to test your understanding. Water is used as a cooling agent in the car engine because water... I think the answer is A. Good, Anis. Thank you. The answer is correct. Okay. This one is the same as I've uh, explained before, okay? Do you understand the water as cooling agent class? So, Latika, Najwana, Hafizuddin, do you understand? Yes. Okay, yes. good. The next one. Less heat is needed to raise the temperature of 1 kilogram silver by 1 degree than to raise the temperature of 1 kilogram water by 1 degree. Why do you think it is? What is the answer class? Less heat is needed to raise the temperature of silver by 1 degree Celsius. Anyone? Can you tell me the answer? Mm, 
B, teacher? Good, that's correct. Well done, Hafizuddin. Okay, the last one, calculation. Um, how much heat is to be supplied to heat 2 kilogram of water at 30 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius? Uh, as I've mentioned before, the specific heat capacity is given in the question, okay? So you, don't, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, let us calculate as this. Uh, let's calculate this one together. The specific heat capacity. You guys calculate for me. What do you get the answer? Anyone? B. Is it correct? Yes, that's correct. Well done, Najwana. Okay, so we have come to the end of our class today. Uh, I think we have covered all those three learning out a lesson a learning outcome, which is you are able to explain heat capacity, you are able to define specific heat capacity, and you are able to solve involving specific heat capacity using the Q equals to MC data. I think uh, most of you guys understand today's class, right? Yes, yes. teacher. Okay, if you don't understand any part, if you don't understand any part from this slide, you can always um, WhatsApp me, okay, to us. I have post your homework at Google Classroom. Please go there and do your homework, okay? Do your exercise on this subtopic because we are going to discuss on it next week. Okay, guys? Are you clear, are you clear with my instruction? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Have a great weekend.